What's happening, everyone? Jay Shock Blast here, and check it out. Here we are coming in on the agency, and the events of the Doomsday uh, have happened. And as you can see, uh, the agency uh, got blowed up. <laughs> so uh, we're kind of looking to see what the changes are here, and we're looking for Midas. And one thing you're going to notice right away is, uh, so Midas is right across the map, right there outside, just kind of standing there. Um, but one of the things you're going to notice is that, you know, their shadow over here now, they used to be Ghost. Um, Midas used to be wearing uh, white, and all the henchmen here uh, used to be wearing the uh, Ghost uh, costumes or outfits or uniforms or whatever. Um, but now they are Shadow, and Shadow is uh, seemingly infiltrated. Um, you know, there's, I'm really looking, there's, there's Midas, we're just going to go ahead and knock him real quick but yeah there he is he's all shattered out so what happened with Midas this is why we need like an actual story mode uh, for this game like honestly like I am so fascinated by like the characters that they they have for this game and and what their backstory is and it would be really cool to have uh, some kind of a story mode so here we are we've got uh, the the key card to go to the vault, uh, so we're gonna go do that. But um, you know, we see these events like the one that we had today uh, at the agency where it blew up, and you know now the storm is gone, and we have uh, a tidal wave essential. And we'll see that at the end of this video. Uh, down here there are some turrets and that dude, so uh, had to be a little careful. Uh, now, I'm with my buddy Free Willy Rocks right here, and we are um, we are in a private match. Uh, he has the ability to do that somehow. Um, <laughs> but uh, I realize this is, this is pointless. Let's just go break the ceiling. And that was way easier. So we're going to go in the vault, and uh, if you do go into the vault now, uh, it does appear that there is a new XP coin. Um, we don't really need any of this stuff. We're just kind of doing it. Um, season 3 is going to be starting on the 17th, uh, which is going to be Wednesday, uh, June 17th. Finally, I think a lot of us are all uh, kind of in the same boat. This is a very long season, um, and obviously, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, there are some, you know, difficulties and whatnot as far as, you know, people working from home and stuff like that because of the the COVID and whatnot. Um, but, you know, it's finally here. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty hyped for it. Uh, we, we do know that there's going to be a lot of water uh, situations going on. Uh, so, you know, like I said, the storm is gone. And if you, you know, kind of look out, I don't know if I'm going to get a good shot of it here. But you look way off into the distance uh, when I, like, pan the screen enough. And you'll actually notice that uh, it's a wave. I can't believe a direct shot to him only did 125 damage, by the way. Um, so yeah. But uh, eventually that wave is going to come in and there's fish in there. I think we saw a shark earlier. Uh, so I'm really intrigued to see what's going to happen on Wednesday uh, when all this goes down. And uh, how is the map going to change and stuff like that. Um, we're going to go into the porta potty right here. And it just takes us to the other side of the agency. You know, right there. But, uh, you know, we're just basically investigating the map. Uh, this is not necessarily the greatest of places to go anymore. Um, because it's just a hole. It's a crater. You know? And uh, there are lots of goons that you can kill. Uh, so that's, I guess, good. And obviously you can get Midas' drum gun. You know, if you really like that. It's a pretty interesting gun. Uh, I got to use it a lot during the event. Um because that was one of the the perks i forgot that i was like uh wearing the the shadow costume so i didn't open that chest but um yeah i don't know like i know there were a lot of boardrooms and stuff like that before but i don't know like what whose office is where and whatnot so uh, <laughs> love it how that that just kind of stays there But yeah, we're just kind of investigating 
I thought uh, th I thought this was interesting, you know. Like I think I jump into the middle now. Didn't die. Haha. <laughs> um, so yeah, like there's just water here now, and um, all sorts of little places you can kind of sneak through. There used to be a chest. Uh, maybe there still is. Um, in this room right here is where the uh, the generator is. So couldn't shut that door, but. Um, you know, that'll basically knock out all the cameras. It'll knock out the, the turrets. So, I mean, I guess if you were able to, uh, probably a good idea to just kind of go straight down the middle and uh, shut that down before you kind of proceed. But, um, yeah, I just... Lots of little nooks and crannies. There used to be a station where you could, uh, you know, upgrade your weapons and whatnot. But that seems to be gone might have got blowed up i don't i don't know that we necessarily were able to explore every inch of this place um but we did our best to like see as much as we could uh the duct work you can't go up unfortunately so uh, that did not help us all that much helicopters also i believe are gone So you have a phone booth on each side of the crater. And here, I was just, it's weird. There's not like a lot of places to actually go in. So I end up having to like break down a lot of the, the walls. And I can hear, there's lots of chests in here. You know, I can hear them, but yeah, we're right back at the vault. But I don't know, I just couldn't find them. The agency was always kind of tricky anyway, because it was just a big building, you know, and I mean, there was lots of stuff there uh, to see and do. So it was like, it was pretty much the biggest structure on the map. So I'm curious, as far as the story is concerned, did, did Midas go rogue? <laughs> are ghosts the good guys and shadow the bad guys you know what's what's your speculation on how this story works because i don't really know other than a call oh, i guess there's a helicopter over here i don't really know as far as like you know the actual breadth of the story is concerned like what it all means you know uh i'm interested to find out and i wish that we just the only way that we found out wasn't like you know these little vignettes every season you know i'd love to know more about like the characters the skins that we get you know like what are they other than just you know, you know specific licensed characters but like you know who are these people like why why should we care about them other than the fact that you know they look pretty cool so i would love to hear uh, and figure that out um, and I, I wish there was, like, some kind of a story mode. Kind of like Overwatch. That's how I felt about Overwatch. Like, you know, you've got these really cool characters that you want us to care about. And there is lore there. But, I don't know, it's just not, like... It's not perfect. Now, the wave is coming in here. And the video is getting close to the end. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy us just running around and trying to see it. Look at how dark it is. It's just like, you know, so dark. And I feel like I'm like facing this tidal wave. Can you just imagine that thing is coming for you? Uh, pretty crazy. Now, one of the challenges now, it used to be that you could sit in the storm if you had health packs and you could like continue fishing or you could continue, you know, searching chests or whatever it was you needed to do. But now the storm is not going to allow that because you have to swim out of it and it does seemingly push you forward um so like and you you can also go up but you can't uh go down so it will gradually push you up and it will gradually push you out uh so i do feel like you can get out of there a little bit faster that way uh another thing that we found is that we didn't do it but apparently if you have a helicopter uh you can fly above the storm uh, which is certainly interesting. And also, uh, there was a shark in there somewhere. I'm looking for it now. 
but I don't think I ended up finding it. But at one point, I definitely saw like a megalodon or a shark or or something. Um, but yeah, like the whole see how it kind of pushed me out. Um, you can go in, but like if you let go of the controller at all, it'll just push you out. Another thing, you don't get a glider redeploy um, if you're playing in like the battle royale modes. Team Rumble, you obviously have one, but I digress. So there it is. Um, I don't know how long this is even going to matter because we could get more map changes. We should get more map changes with the new season. But either way, thanks Free Willy Rocks, as always, for helping me out with some video stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys think. What are you looking forward to season three? I think we're getting Aquaman, and I'm very intrigued. All right, we'll see you.